Hello, Dr. J here of the drj.com and the 2020from.com. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about vitamin D and in particular, uh, the dose of vitamin D. How much vitamin D do we need on a daily basis? Now, ordinarily, when the sun UV rays strike our skin, that particular action triggers vitamin D synthesis. But that is when the sun is available and when the skin is exposed to the sun. As it happens, at this time of the year, uh, the sun does not like us that much in the northern hemisphere. The sun prefers those in the southern hemisphere. Uh, that means our vitamin D levels will be seriously lacking at this time of the year. And that also means we need to acquire our vitamin D from other sources. Now, dietary sources are not the most reliable. So ideally, at this time of the year, you want to get your vitamin D from supplements. So the question then arises, how much vitamin D do you need? Don't forget, at this time of the year, when things like the flu virus tend to run rampant, uh, you need your vitamin D because vitamin D does play a huge role in boosting our immune system. And at the same time, of course, you need it for bone and uh, teeth health. And uh, vitamin D also does help with inflammatory response in the body. So uh, vitamin D is a relevant nutrient uh, that uh, we need. So uh, you really don't want to be lacking vitamin D. Now, before I go on to the subject of how much vitamin D you're going to need, I also want to talk to you about uh, what the target blood levels of vitamin D should be. What should your doctor be looking for uh, when you know he sends your blood to the lab and uh, the results come back? So uh, let's look at, uh, at that first of all before we talk about the dose. So what I've got here, I've got target vitamin D blood levels. And ideally, uh, you want to be targeting 50 nanomole per liter. That is what the authorities think we should be targeting. In actual fact, they think it should be lower. They think it should be 30 nanomoles per liter. But in some individuals, levels of between 30 to 50 nanomoles per liter will represent deficiency states. So to err on the side of safety, you actually need 50 nanomoles per liter as a minimum. In actual fact, the endocrine society, okay, believe that 75 nanomoles per liter is optimal. Yes, that's what they believe. Uh, but I think you'll do all right if your levels are uh, 50 and above okay so now that we have established what the blood target level should be let's look at the uh, recommended doses from some of the countries in the northern hemisphere so uh, let's kick off with that so I've got down here vitamin D daily intakes okay so we kick off with the US now the US has recommended for adults to take 600 international units which is the equivalent of 15 micrograms and for the over 70s to uh, take 800 international units, which is the equivalent of 20 micrograms. The UK, the UK has gone for a flat dose for adults uh, to use 400 international units, which is the equivalent of 10 micrograms. Canada, where Canada has gone for adults to use 600 international units, uh, which is the equivalent of 15 micrograms daily. And for the over 70s, 800 international units, which is equivalent of 20 micrograms. Now, what about Ireland? Ireland has gone for uh, 800 international units, uh, which is equivalent of 20 micrograms for adults. Okay. Now, here's the other thing. The endocrine society believes that uh, some of these doses are too small. Okay. In actual fact, what have they gone for? The endocrine society believes that we should be taking between 1,500 to 2,000 international units, okay? And personally, I am with the Endocrine Society because I strongly believe those uh, doses recommended by the authorities are just too small. Uh, but I think they should be the bare minimum. Uh, optimal doses should be around the region that uh, the Endocrine Society has recommended. In actual fact, for me, I take... 4,000 international units. That's how much I take. Uh, because during the summer months, for instance, I did not really use any vitamin D at all. And I also believe that my sun exposure during the summer months was not very good. So I think that uh, my vitamin D levels aren't very great as we speak. 
So I go for uh, 4,000 international units. And by the way, this recommendation is for you to use vitamin D daily for the next six months. So you've got to use it uh, throughout the winter months going into spring as well. Uh, whether you use it during the summer months is another matter altogether. But uh, ordinarily uh, for the winter, well, from the autumn, actually, from the autumn into winter and then into spring, you should uh, be using uh, vitamin D uh, supplementation daily, okay? Because, like I said before, dietary sources are not very reliable, so uh, you have to get it from supplements. And also the fact that the sun is lacking. So, um, yeah, that's that's my take. Uh, you can go with what the, uh, the authorities have recommended, those doses. Or you can go with what the Endocrine Society has suggested. Uh, I think what the Endocrine Society has suggested is uh, a better dose. Uh, but for those of us, especially those of us who are dark-skinned, um, I believe we need higher doses. Uh, and that's why I go for 4,000 international units. And that's what I'm going to be taking uh, throughout uh, these uh, coming six months. And you should be taking... Uh, at least some dose over the next six months okay uh, do not let it slide a uh, very very important okay do not forget to use your vitamin d whatever dose you go for uh, will depend on uh, your take you can also have a chat with your doctor and and hear what he or she says uh, about the dose that you need okay because if you're starting off very low then it will make sense that uh, you need to take higher doses uh, as opposed to uh, those uh, recommended doses by the authorities and of course, uh, if your uh, levels are already up there, then it's okay for you to uh, use smaller doses. That's the way I look at it, okay? There's no one size fits all for uh, uh, vitamin D when it comes to uh, supplementation. So hopefully you got some value from this video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up, please like the video, and also please share this video with your friends, family, and colleagues. If you are already using vitamin D, do let me know what dose you using uh, currently. Uh, leave that uh, in the uh, comment section. If you've got any questions, uh, leave them down below. I think uh, that's about it for this video. Uh, until next time, uh, this is Dr. Joe signing out.